Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I would like to share my experience of using this Topin BA52 Plus Glass D amplifier. This one is fully balanced Glass D amplifier with balance and RCA input using TRS balance input for this BA52 Plus as same as a previous generation. Previous model have some issues but my the one that I had doesn't have any major issues at all other than on and off or popping noise but this one totally took care of that and there's no noise at all when you turn it on and off even if you have the gain control up so that is a good improvement inside this M I'm not sure what class D chip they are using I assume they are using TPA chips inside with balanced architecture top in is using external power supply brick with aviation two pins connectors and binding post quality is economical binding post there is no EQ or remote control come with it this is just a pure class D amplifier with gain control transparent and neutral sound that it can produce without getting in the way of sound reproduction. If you are after that kind of amplification, this Topping PA52 Plus is great option. This one is rated for 140 watts at 4 ohm load. I tried this Topping PA5 with a few different DACs including SMS and SU1, a shit audio Modius e-balance DAC and soon to be review SMS at DO400. All of them except for SU1 is a balanced deck. So any deck that I pair with, it will deliver sound as it receives using that Musician Night One speaker. When I moved over to this system, my main system, I pair with the Sony Music Server XLR to TRS cable directly connected from the Sony and that it totally shows it as well. Sony is very transparent. Top MP A52 Plus is transparent and it does produce transparent and neutral sound without any harshness or brightness or coloration. It's kind of like you are listening in like pro audio uh, studio kind of sound signature is revealing yet refined and well balanced sound signature so what i like to say is it's like a pro grade uh, sound reproduction with absolute honesty so that kind of sound signature that it can produce if you pair with right component and then i try with this we and pro and it sounded real nice it has really good synergy together most of my impression and most of my comments are based on TRS balance input. RCA input is okay. When I pair with this JBL 100 Classic 75th, I was able to take it up to 98 dB range of the loudness, gain control at the maximum position, and it will deliver the sound as good as it can be in this price point, still retaining really good depth and stereo image with deep and wide sound stage. I wouldn't call it rich sound stage. It doesn't get bright and it will be still remain neutral and transparent sound pairing with the Sony HABZ1 ES. So that kind of loud level above 95 dB range, many amplifier suffers. Even a thousand dollar class AB amp will not do well. I mean, doesn't matter who makes a Yamaha or Dano or I mean, any major brands, you know, I try that. This PA5 Plus 2 is very impressive in playing that level of loudness without destroying the sound stage which really impressed me the most because 
the way that it can control and retain good stereo image with really wide sound stage, then depth is incredibly good as well. And I am feeling that low energy, no matter where I'm at, all of those are based on TRS balance input, RCA input, I would say probably like 85 dB maxed. But after all, this is affordable amplifier that you can have. So price and sound quality and the driving power that you are getting is very impressive. So less than $400, you will have that kind of driving power and sound quality without even destroying actual stereo image and soundscape when you push it loud, like above 90 dB range, or in my case, above 95 dB range. And please keep that in mind that uh, that is depending on your speaker pairing, right? That is a very important point that I want to make. Not all speakers are created equal to play that level of loudness. So this top in PA5, give it good quality speaker and it will deliver that kind of loudness level, no problem. Good driving power, you can really feel the, you know, the way that it can deliver and control the speaker in sound reproduction, yet it gives you good refinement as well as transparent sound without major harshness. Most of my music listening when I pair with this Sony Music Server, nine o'clock volume position will get me around 55 dB range average. So that is plenty loud for my average music listening. When I go up to my reference level, it goes to 65 to 75 dB range that it can, I can raise it to like 11 o'clock position. When I'm using external deck such as the SMS DO400, it will give me additional six, about 6 dB boost in the loudness wise. You know, the way that Topping make these kind of tiny amps are, uh, I mean, really improving. No major crosstalk, nothing that I could hear in normal listening level. And then the, the way that they control the noise and everything is very impressive for the price that you are getting. Only one thing that uh, I like to improve in this topping amplifier is just to have a better quality binding post. Other than that, I have no problem listening and enjoying my music. And if you want to add a subwoofer, you have to do with speaker level input on your subwoofer and be careful with it. You have to be completely turned off both of the equipment and turn down the gain control as well on the both of the equipment. Some people are afraid of it. You should not be because a lot of uh, good quality subs, it has a resistor built in for the purpose. If you use high level input, you will only receive below 80 hertz if you do a speaker level inputs. Another thing that I like to mention is when you raise the gain, right? Let's say you want to play up to like 9,500 dB range. It can take you there. It can deliver good quality sound without really collapsing the sound staging and depth and stereo image. That is also depending on the uh, your room as well, partially. So that kind of loudness level, if you want to play it, this little PE52 series can do that. And the actual sound quality will be varies by pairing component. That is, please keep that in mind because in my system, I have no problem going up there because the room is treated and speakers are able to handle that. Because not only the output power is important in general because a lot of speakers tend to suffer if you raise that kind of volume level, that is uh, driver's quality is very important as well. My advice to you is if you have like entry level speakers, probably you may not be able to achieve that kind of loudness level in 
good engaging manner because the driver's quality and you know design of the speakers and that all come into play if you want to play that loud. This top end PA52 Plus is very good option for those of you who want tiny amplifier with good power delivery and transparency and purest sound possible in your system. So highly recommend it, my friend. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening. Next one is, it's called Kiss of Life. And let's hear some bass.
great. On the bass, Mr. Cody Boy, Pants Kiss On the guitar, Ora Mayor's Kiss On the 